Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Okay, Gig, I think we replaced the correct fuse. Go ahead and turn the switch. Awesome! Oh, hey guys, we are here inside the Long Division computer. We were shrunk to fit in here and fix a broken fuse. This computer processes Long Division, which includes four-digit dividends. That is what we are learning about today. Now it is time to get out of this place. I'm ready to go. Come on, Bob. I will follow you. Uh-oh. Looks like we are going to have to solve this problem to open the door. Learn about dividing four-digit dividends, and then we can get out of here. See you soon. In this lesson, we will use long division to answer the question, what is 1,675 divided by 67? 1,675 is called the dividend, 67 is the divisor, and the answer is called the quotient. Let's set up our problem using the long division sign. The divisor, 67, will go in front of the division sign, and then we put the dividend, 1,675, under the division sign. The answer, or the quotient, will go above the sign. Okay, now we're ready to divide. Because we are dividing by a two-digit number, we're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 67 go into 16, the first two digits of the dividend? Well, 16 is smaller than 67, so we can't answer that question. And we really need to start by looking at the first three digits from left to right. How many times does 67 go into 167 without going over? We will need to do some guessing off to the side, but it's going to be strategic guessing. Let's start by doubling 67, or taking 67 times 2. Well, 2 times 7 is 14, and 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So, 67 times 2 is 134. Great! Let's see what we get when we use 2 in our division problem. 67 goes into 167 2 times, and we get 134. Now, we want to draw a line and subtract. 167 minus 134 is 33. Because 33 is less than 67, we found the greatest number of times 67 goes into 167 without going over. Now, we want to bring down 5, the next digit. And we're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 67 go into 335 without going over? This is where we'll do some more scratch work off to the side. We know 67 times 2 is 134, so we need to find another product that results close to, or exactly, 335. Let's try 67 times 5. Well, 5 times 7 is 35. We write the 5 below and carry the 3, and now multiply 5 times 6, which is 30, and add the 3. That gives us 33. So 67 times 5 is 335, and that's perfect. So we'll write 5 above in our problem. 5 times 67 is 335, and now we draw a line and subtract. 335 minus 335 is 0. That means we have a remainder of 0. So 1,675 divided by 67 is 25. Great work! 
Let's try another problem. What is 9,150 divided by 50? First, let's write the problem with the division symbol. 50, our divisor, goes in front, and the dividend, 9,150, goes below. All right, we're going to find the quotient. How many times does 50 go into 91 without going over? That's right, just one time. So we write 1 up above, and we know 1 times 50 is 50, so we write that below. Next, draw a line and subtract. 91 minus 50 equals 41. Our next step is to bring down the 5, and then we start all over again. How many times does 50 go into 415 without going over? Well, I know 50 times 10 is 500, which is more than 415. Plus, we can't put a double digit number up top. So we need a number less than 10. How about 8? 50 times 8 is 400. That will work. Okay, so we write 8 above, and I know 8 times 50 is 400. We're going to draw a line and subtract. 415 minus 400 is 15. Our next step is to bring down the zero, and we're going to start over again. How many times does 50 go into 150? Well, that's three times, because three times 50 is 150. When we subtract, we get a remainder of zero. So we found 9,150 divided by 50 equals 183. Let's try one more problem. What is 5,863 divided by 13? Can you set up the problem on your own? Okay, how many times does 13 go into 58 without going over? Let's do some scratch work. How about we try 4? 13 times 4 is 52. So we write 4 above, and 4 times 13 is 52, so we write that below. And we draw a line and subtract. 58 minus 52 equals 6. Bring down the next digit, which is another 6. 13 goes into 66 how many times without going over? Well, we know 4 times 13 is 52, so we need to be more than 4 times. Let's try 5. 13 times 5 is 65, so that works. Write 5 up above, and then we know that 13 times 5 is 65. Next, we'll draw a line and subtract. 66 minus 65 is 1. Bring down the next digit, 3. And we'll ask ourselves, how many times does 13 go into 13? Well, just one time. 1 times 13 is 13, so then we will subtract. 13 minus 13 is 0. Nice work! Okay, I think you solved a problem just like this, so can you tell us the answer to 1,742 divided by 67? Pause the video to work the problem. When you have the answer, you can start the video again. Were you able to work the problem? What is the answer? The answer is 26. Great job, guys! Oh yeah, it is time to get out of here. Thanks for all your help. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.